For the last six months, I've been really busy with making things shake on a computer screen. It's kind of insane, really. It's been so long that every time I look away from my computer, everything seems to shake all the time. Or it's my brain that's shaking. I don't know. But I think it was worth it because now I can finally introduce one of the things I've been working on all this time. Smooth Shake Pro. Later in the video, I will be showcasing everything you can do, but let's first talk about shakes for a bit. If you're making games, at one point or another, you're gonna wanna make something shake. There are some amazing videos and talks out there about the power of screen shake, so I won't go repeating what's already been said a lot. Every game would benefit from having screen shake, even if you're like, oh, my puzzle game doesn't need screen shake, you're wrong. <laughs> but they only really mention screen shake, even though in my opinion, almost any value that can change the cause of visual difference can be shake. A weapon, an item drop, your combo meter going up, your UI buttons, a light breaking, an exhaust pipe, on a car. Your character's ass. I don't know what kind of game you're making. There's so many possible scenarios where you need to make something shake, and you should. It's awesome. It's fun. I would know. I've been doing this for six months. It's 2024 already? What the f so how do you shake things in games? A lot of tutorials just leave it at randomly changing values every frame, but that way you can change the speed of the shake and it just looks jarring. Brekkies, I love you, but this is not a good shake. And that's something I realized over a year ago. You might remember in my boss fight video, I first stumbled across the issue of shaking things in games and set out to make my own shake tool. Let's go! One that's more like shakes in video editors because those are way smoother. Back when I was making intros for YouTubers don't ask, I was able to easily create very nice shakes with very precise control. But in games, I know this is not that easy. I quickly put together a simple solution for shake things you can watch that video to see the process and that ended up becoming smooth shake i put it on the asset store to my surprise it was received pretty well i'm always a fan of tools that do just one thing but do it extremely well but i knew that was just the beginning during my internship i noticed an extra production smooth shake leaves a lot to be desired it's also over a year later now i learned so many new things and i'm glad i can finally introduce one of the things i've been working on all this time smooth shake pro you can now layer and blend shakes. There's a preview window. It works with rigid bodies, material properties, city machine. There's many noise types and blending modes. There's a custom timeline track. And this time there's also a free version. Let's first talk about that. Smooth Shake Pro became such a huge in-depth tool with so many possibilities, I started to feel like it might even be too much for people who just want something quick and simple to make things shake like the previous version, but still based on the improved system. So for those people, I have Smooth Shake Free. So once you have Smooth Shake Free installed from the package manager, but if you're like me and you want real control over your shakes and make it work in cutscenes with Cinemachine, Rigid Bodies, Material Properties, let me tell you about Smooth Shake Pro. So now I'm going to show you something Smooth Shake Pro can do. After many iterations, research, testing, tweaking, I'm so happy I can finally share this with you. I hope it's gonna help shake things up in your games. See what I did there? Right now, since it's just launched, there's a launch discount going on for the first two weeks. Link in the description. Also, if you already bought the old Smooth Shake, you can upgrade to Pro for half the price. But that'll only last for about a month because then it will be deprecating the old Smooth Shake and it will only be the free and Pro version from then on. A really big shout out to the senior technical artist, Bessel van der S. He is the reason I was able to quickly grow so much and Smooth Shake Pro would not have been possible without him. I, I cannot thank him enough, honestly. And thanks so much for watching. You can follow at Dev everywhere and follow Studio Screen Damage because we've been working on something pretty huge for almost a year now and we're doing a big announcement in a couple months can't say anything about that yet but stay tuned like i said at the end of last video i can't upload much this year because there's just too much going on but stay tuned for announcements because i can't wait to show you what i've been working on bye